Hey everybody, it's Roya. Today's painting is the painting that I did a couple months ago and I consider it done because I said whatever I could have and uh, was able to say with the forms and shapes and brush strokes there. And as far as I was concerned, it's been said. So I consider it done, put it away, and a collector of mine the other day reached out to me and asked to have it. And I realized I have things to say in addition to previous shapes. So I asked him to give me a couple of days to add my additional sayings uh, within if you translate it into paint say the additional stuff and add it to the painting so while i was painting the painting initially i had phenomenology in mind which is a, like if you want to recap it is like a, a kind of a study of things that would shine forth for you if you're in the situation and some Thing shine forth for you personally within the situation that gives you a kind of clue for your move forward indicating what you need to pay attention to um, so that was that back then but while adding the shapes into it I was uh, reading the book of Haggai and I was thinking of what would I say if I want to summarize a book that's kind of a good practice for every given thing and a good practice for a painting because you had to have a tip of a hierarchy in mind and move toward that and I that that's a perfect illustration of the book of Haggai I think I think it's about get your priorities straight and everything will follow from that and the the thing is like it, the book is about that it mentioning it is mentioning it straightforward and it mentioning it not that straightforward and there is this part that says um would you have the main temple in order before your own houses because that would follow the order into your house because your main priority is at the place that is supposed to be so another thing that it reminded me of it's maslow's hierarchy of need which usually read as you can't move to higher levels without satiating the lower levels which also mentioned in the book of Haggai which is to say the um, the Haggai tells people that uh, aren't you uh, have enough food but not satiated and some b a bunch of other metaphors like that which is perfect illustration of the Maslow's hierarchy of need because the needs are not about to be met physically period the needs that you you're satiated on the psychological level with your needs perfect illustration is we all know somebody who has it completely physically in terms of material good but they're not psychologically over it so they don't feel satiated and they cannot move to transcendent level because of that and we all know the other example of this so that's the example illustrated in that book i think and this is lived by victor frankl basically there is this passage that always makes me weep it's about the uh, they moving from one death camp to another and he's as physically behind any kind of uh, satiation as far as humanly possible i would say and he's looking through the skyline and think of his beloved and is in this beautiful passage and he's he says that the man who has nothing left to lose still may know bliss by contemplating his beloved and this is just the the I think the utmost meaning that you can exhibit in a given situation, which it circle back to phenomenology and getting our priorities straight would 
would make everything it would put stuff into their place and everybody would everything would make sense as a result of that <laughs>